Good morning guys, welcome back to Tim's Cotswold Farm. So I wanted to give you a bit of background to this video. Now you know if you're supporters of my channel that I was looking at getting rid of my Defender and get something a bit more suitable for family life. Something that has all the off-road capability but also it's got five seats, it's got Isofix, it's comfier on the road, it can go longer distances and I thought a pickup would be the ideal tool for the job. But then my wife came to me and said but we've got a big diesel and then she said those words that absolutely no man wants to hear. Why don't I get something sensible? Unsurprisingly, what my wife thinks sensible and what I think sensible, two very different things. But that gave me an idea. Why don't I get something small and economical for the family, but then I could also get something that I could then use on the farm, which is a bit more fun as well. So here's what I've come up with. So this is the Can-Am Traxxas 7. It's got a ton pulling capacity and these are fully homogenous, which means from the factory, all the lights are exactly where they need to be to operate on the UK roads. Now you can either register it as a tractor, which means it's purely for agricultural use, but it's tax free, or you could pay the DVLA 180 pounds a year, tax it, MOT it after three years, and you could use this for everything. I want to do a quick tour of the cab. So we've got the normal working lights here. We've got the horn, we've got the indicators. We've got an LED light bar in the front, which we turn this on. They've installed, it's incredibly bright. You've then got a winch, which sits out the front. We then have all of our controls. So park, reverse, neutral, high, low. These are the rear differentials. So when they're off, it means that only one rear wheel is turning. Press that, it locks both rear wheels together. If you wanted four by four mode, then you click that and you just heard that audibly, it's locked the front diff, but they are not true four wheel drive because they're not all driving at the same time. You've then got this to control the screen, got eco mode, which you can then turn on and off. We've got heaters and blowers. Now this is an extra, but they do recommend having it because it takes over a week to retrofit it. I had the heaters on this morning because it was so cold out and I can honestly say it got hot within about three minutes. These got the sliding windows, but the other doors would be fixed here. They've got more paneling and there's also electric windows. This is really good for shepherd. It's a cubby box and I've got a, a round mount in it at the moment But then all I do pick this up and I take it out and then just lock it down under the seat You've got two can -Am boxes which can hook on and off this one. You can get one that's just open and shut You've got another bit of storage unit there um, So it's got three seat belts a standard nice mirror It's got radio and then it's also got a nice pair of reversing LEDs as well and then jumping out So it's got these really nice kind of American truck mirrors branded with Can-Am. It's fully armored underneath. These are set really soft at the moment, but you can set them harder. This is the upgraded alloys. Fully enough, these alloys pretty much look identical to what I've got on the Defender, which I think is really cool. Petrol, they only do petrol. The UK is the only country which has a red diesel for commercial use. This I like, it's actually on both sides for you to be able to tip the body. So you've got the transmission and the engine the exhaust, obviously a bit of plating. You can clearly pull this R clip and actually get rid of this ram. All of Can-Am's products use the same load bed attacher. So if you had a quad and you went to one of these, you could then just put them in here and it'd fit. You also notice all these slots. So you could put a piece of board in here and it would partition all this off. This is designed for like cattle feed buckets or sheep feed buckets. Um, coming round, they do recommend these mug guards. Those are the rear reversing lights. It's got a ball hitch, it's got a power socket. It's got an additional power socket here if you're running like a sprayer. A couple of grease points is what I like to see. There she is, the Can-Am Traxxas 7. So it's not all messing around this morning. I've actually saved a load of jobs that I need to do with this machine. This isn't really about whether it can pick up firewood or not. So once this thing is loaded, I want to know how the steering is compromised. Does it feel lighter on the road? And this is just the easiest way of doing it because I haven't got loads of sheep feed that I need to roll out. 
So I'm going to load all this up. We're going to take it back to the farm, use it what it's supposed to be used for and see whether it makes a difference to the engine, whether it sounds louder, anything like that. <laughs> I'm going to take this back to the farm and then I'm going to whiz over and get the lick buckets that I've got and then I'm going to take those down onto the banks where the sheep are. It's like it's designed as a farming and YouTube machine. Look at this. Get the DJI down there. Let's have a quick look through this thing. These are all the extras. You can choose what alloys you have. You can choose all sort of tow recovery gear, what sort of tyres, um, snowplow mounting brackets extra suspension seats, steel cables, different winches, reverse screens, everything you want, you can add. So logs are all in the wood store. It made absolutely no difference to the Canon's performance. It didn't sound any different. It didn't struggle. But you can see it's really noisy, which is probably one of my largest criticisms. So I'm gonna take the lick buckets up to this bit here where we feed them. You can see already how steep it is. After sort of late September, yeah, good luck going on this you'll just chew it to hell so i'm using this whilst we've got it to deliver all the food and hopefully some feeders and things up to here so at least it's done so i've got the four-wheel drive in locked the rear diff and then if i put this open the root structures you can see how banky it is see they've obviously carved out a piece here because it's just too much but this is the kind of stuff that it's going to have to deal with just brought it about four miles down the road because we're going to check these rams it seemed to perform really well it's very smooth um, all the potholes and things unlike a tractor which seems to hit you pretty hard it was a really smooth ride um, we couldn't put the window back in once we started driving we realized it tipped out too far but generally nice smooth and to be honest it was reaching about 40 the whole way along i think we got here just as quick using that as we would in the defender so that machine is limited to 60k which is about 38 miles an hour but if you took the limiter off, you could actually go 60 miles an hour with that machine. I'm really happy with how it's performed on the road. 